What's up guys, it's Roman here from Mindbox Visual, and today we're talking about the Samsung Galaxy S5, so let's get into it. So if you guys haven't heard, there's been so many leaks and so many rumors about a upcoming Samsung Galaxy device, so in this case the S5, so I'm going to talk about everything you should know about these rumors, so uh, let's get started. So first off, the release date is pointing towards February of 2014, so it's most likely going to be announced at a conference during February at that time, and then released to the public like in March, maybe April-ish time frame, just for like manufacturing purposes and stuff. Uh, price wise, you should expect it to remain the same uh, as the Galaxy S4 is, so $699 for the 16GB model and $799 for the 32GB model. Uh, but both models will be expandable with storage since uh, all Galaxy devices do that. You can like plug in the micro SD card and just expand it up to how much uh, gigabytes you have on your SD card. And it's also going to be $199 on a two-year term with like AT&T, Sprint, Rogers, Bell, pretty much any network. So since this phone is most likely going to be a hexaband phone, just like the Galaxy S4 is, so it will work on all networks around the world. Design-wise, you should expect the screen not to change drastically. So it's most likely going to stay the same at 5 inches, but might increase to like 5.2 if anything. But the rumor has been pointing towards just it remaining the same screen size. Uh, the screen will also be most likely 1080p and it will be flexible since uh, Samsung just announced their new flexible displays which look pretty cool. And if it's flexible it means it's obviously harder to crack since you actually bend the screen which is pretty cool. And the actual shell might change from like a plastic to an aluminum metal style casing. As you guys know the Galaxy S devices right now are all plastic so it gives them a kind of a cheaper feel than if it was like you're say holding an iPhone in the Galaxy, the Galaxy feels cheaper because it's made out of plastic, right? So they might actually put like a metal aluminum casing just to make it uh, more like fancy and like more durable I guess. Also, uh, there's been rumors of eye scanning technology on the Galaxy S5. So, like, uh, they debuted it a couple months ago at a event where, like, you can control the TV with your eye, and like, it was pretty cool. Uh, Techno Buffalo did like a review on that, but uh, like, if they put it on the phone, it means you can just look at the phone and like unlock it or like control it with your eye, which is pretty cool. You won't even have to move. You just look at your phone and it unlocks. And there's also been rumors of a possible addition of a fingerprint scanner, but I highly doubt they're going to put that in since it's kind of copying Apple. Since Apple does it first, uh, Samsung's going to get shit for it because uh, they're allegedly going to be copying them. Camera-wise, you should expect a 16 megapixel camera along with 4K recording capabilities. So 4K resolution is the highest resolution currently right now, and the pixel density is very, very like high, so like you won't see any pixelation. And it's super clear, super HD, which is very, very nice. And the front camera is most likely going to stay at 2 megapixels along with 1080p front camera. And you should also expect new camera modes to uh, appear on the Galaxy S5 device uh, and improvements to uh, current S features like the S Health, S Voice, uh, and like, you know, the rest of them. There's like 50 of them. Uh, spec wise, you should expect a 64 bit Xeno 6 processor, which is also going to be octo core. And uh, you should expect this because uh, just a couple weeks ago, I believe, um, Samsung announced that their next gen processors are going to be 64 bit, which is pretty cool. Uh, Apple currently has a 64 bit processor, and apparently it's much faster than the old processors on the older iPhones. And you should also expect 3 gigabytes of RAM to come since the Galaxy Note 3 has 3 gigabytes, so the S5 is only logical for them to put 3 in. And finally, operating system wise, you should expect Android 4.4 KitKat since uh, it's going to be releasing soon, like November to December ish timeframe by Google. So you should expect it to be put into the Galaxy S5 device with like TouchWiz UI in it. And you know, TouchWiz is like that manufacturer skin that Samsung has, which I personally don't like because I like Raw Jelly being the best, or Raw Android the best. And that's actually pretty much it. If any more info does pop out, I'll definitely uh, post another video to let you guys know. And if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.